up guys it's steve heading down to the scales this morning we're gonna go find out how much fanny weighs so here we go two-step process you know first you have to weigh your tow vehicle then you hook up and you weigh it with the camper attached and then of course you do the math subtract and the, the vehicle from the total find out how much the camper weighs so we're, we're using what I'm told is the, the easiest way to do it it's the cat scales there's an app um, that you can download you can weigh it you can get the, the results emailed to you and you don't have to talk to a person you know it's completely self-service so it's supposed to be the easiest way that you're gonna to wanna to take care of before you even leave your house to go to the scales most likely. Um, and all those things can be done from the Catscale website. It's catscale.com, but you can also just punch it into Google and it's the, the first result. Now, um, they have a locator feature and that's how you can find a scale. Um, convenient for you or at least find out what your options are. It's right here in the menu under Catscale locator. You pull that up. Gives you the options to just use your location without entering anything. You can type in your zip code or even your location. And us being in Colonial Beach, that's what I'll put in. And then run a search. And then it shows you which scales are closest to you. Um, for us, it's 30 miles away because we kind of live uh, a little bit out there. There's a Flying J that I'm familiar with. It's a convenient location, easy drive, and I love going to Flying J's, so, so that's the one I'm gonna use. Um, now once you've located your scale, there's an app that you can use, and this app is what enables you to pull up on the scale, take care of everything you gotta do, get your results, and not have to deal with any people, not, you have to, not have to wait for anything, it handles payment. Um, it's a really good app. Um, I see they also have a, a locator app, which it's probably just a, like a phone version, phone app version, or device app version of what I just showed you. I haven't used that. The website version worked fine for me, but the app is really good. It's available for um, Apple as well as Android. And you're going to want to download that and get it set up before you go. You'll have to you know, link your payment, um, your card, or whatever you're going to use to your, your account. Um, you also need to provide a company name as well as a truck and trailer number. You know, we don't have a company, nor do we have truck or trailer numbers. And what we did and what you can do is just make something up. We used our, our YouTube channel name um, for the company name, and that, and that seemed to work just fine for us. Um, so that's it. Yeah, definitely recommend getting that app configured before you even uh, get in the car to go take care of it. All right, so once you've pulled up onto the scale, you're going to want to take out your phone or device, tablet, whatever you're using, and open up that Weigh My Truck app that you set up in advance. And this this here, what you're seeing is the load screen when that app first opens. What it will do is default to what it thinks is the scale that you're at based upon your location. 
Um, in this case, they got it correct. It was the Flying J by Ruth or Glenn, but if for whatever reason the location in that um, white rectangle at the top doesn't match your actual location, there's posted a location number on the scale. You can type that in in this box right now here, and once you've entered that, you can hit accept, and then it knows which scale you're at. And again, it'll uh, ask you for your company tractor and trailer name, which you've already set up. Um, you just confirm that and say accept and then you get some uh, some loading prompts as it works through the process and then once it's uh, confirmed that that it is, it is able to weigh you then it gives you a chance to accept payment and get your results it is 1250 away you know I, I think that's pretty reasonable um, it shouldn't be something you have to do that often yeah you know, to me it was fair I was, I was happy to pay that to know what I needed to know. And then once complete, it does show you your weight. And in addition to you know the printout on the, on the app, it will send a notification to your email that, that shows your weight. And then for that reason, when you're setting up the app, it's uh, pretty critical that you don't enter a bogus email. I know often folks are try to avoid getting spam so they'll just type in some nonsense but in this case if you don't put a legit email in then you will not actually have that record of your weight from that that um, from that day and then when you're done you can hit the done button and you are finished So after getting the weight, I took it down to my uncle's shop to have him look at the tires. We hadn't gotten them checked out since we bought it. Um, I'm glad I did because he told me that we needed tires today. Actually, we're, we're lucky we made it back from picking it up without any issues. Uh, the tires, I have no idea how old they are. Um, the person that sold it to us bought it from someone and didn't get that kind of information. But you can see this tire here is starting to come apart. And the other tire has a dry rat on it. The tread's good, um, but I guess just due to their age. Um, need to replace them. So I'm down here in Fredericksburg. There's a place called uh, Hire. Express. I think it's called. It's been here 75 years. It's supposed to be a uh, great service. Uh, a lot of stock. So hopefully we can get this done today. done we got two brand new tires cost us 175 bucks which I think is a pretty good price and I gotta say I'm glad my uncle told me about this place tire tread it's the best uh, tire experience I've ever had I was in and out of there within an hour they were very friendly um, very helpful um, so they also checked the spares so we know we're good to go on that um, you know so we have a trip coming up and a uh, big trip later in the year nice to know that our tires are gonna be good to go all right, so the day definitely took a hard left turn that I didn't expect. Um, none of these events unfolded the way I thought that they would. But at the end of the day, I'm thankful that it did work out this way. You know, I, I'm glad we didn't encounter any issues with the tire while we were on the road, which, you know, we're very lucky and fortunate that that didn't happen. Um, I'm glad that Jeff told me what I needed to do and where I should go. That was a great recommendation. Um, and also, I'm grateful that Dawn suggested I take it to, to Jeff to have him look at it because... That wasn't even a thought in my mind and because we did that we may have averted uh, a big mess you know while out on the road so um i definitely use tire tread again in the future whenever i need tires unless i'm cheaping out and buying used you know but for whatever vehicles be it the camper or our own personal vehicles if i ever need tires i would go back to them again now 
back to the uh, original point and purpose of the, this video, which is the weight. Um, so I think you saw in the, the previous video that the combined weight of the Jeep and the camper came out to 54.20. Now when I weighed it with the Jeep alone, it was only 37.20, 3,720 pounds, which puts the camper currently at 1,700 pounds. So, um, the, the Renegade has a 2,000 pound tow capacity. So I think we're in decent shape. You know, I've heard that you should try to cap it off at about 80% of that, that max towing capacity and, you know, 80% on 2000 would be 1600. So we're slightly above that. It's at 85% right now, but you know, I feel okay about it. You know, when I took it and weighed it, it basically has everything in it that we will have when we are actually traveling and camping with it. Um, you know, just last night we loaded it up with all that gear so that we'd get a good, good weight. Um, I talked to Dawn after, you know, wait it, let her know what the results were. And, you know, we think there may be some, some things that are in there that we might not need. So we can probably shave it down, you know, a little bit to get us closer to that, that 1600 safe weight. So I think we're good to go as far as weight goes. And, you know, that was something that was concerning me quite a bit because the Renegade, you know, it's, it's, it's good. It's reliable. You know, but I knew we were kind of right on the edge and I was worried that maybe we'd be over what was safe. But at this, having done this, you know, it, it's definitely worth doing because now it's given me peace of mind. So as always, thank you guys for watching. We have another video coming up in a few days. Um, we are taking a trip this weekend and we're very excited about it. And the upcoming video that we have planned will show everything that we've done to set up for our camping, our own personal camping wants and needs. So we're excited to show that to you. Um, if you'd like to follow us along on our trip this weekend, you know, please think about subscribing. And uh, if you like what we're doing, we'd love it if you'd like the video. And as always, scamps like us, we were born to camp. Later.